we got expressionism. It's uh began in Germany, 20th century, way over oh, to France. Really. It's a uh, you know it's way from Nor Norway to uh, start ex expressing themselves and signifying the things they felt in the newest direction of French art and art history. It's a very good way for them to express things. I personally like this. It's a very famous artist in this. And they'll show a slideshow after this. But uh, here's some expressionism artists right here. We have Travis Bryant. He likes to express himself by painting cupboards. Look at that cover. That's a nice looking cover. Look at that form. He has good form and a beard. Get it noted? He has a man beard. Look at his beard compared to my beard. His is far more manlier. That is all. Alright, today we're going to talk about surrealism. It started from the 1910s to the late 1920s. It's very insane. I love this. It's Alright, so, you take a painting, right? Standard issue painting, you know, really nice, but super good and stuff. Then you got, like, this other painting, right? And it's like, whoa, what is that? It's like an alligator, but like it's half a man. It's like half a man alligator. It's like talking to you and looking at you. It's like, boom, the painting, half a man alligator, looks super realistic, like it could be real, but it's not, because it's impossible to have a half man, half alligator, unless you watch a lot of Game Boys. But, enough said, surrealism is something that is unrealistic, but looks very realistic. Alright, I'm Mike Rizzo. When I'm not looking through telescopes, having a lot of fun in the middle of case odds, I'm talking about pop art. And I like to randomly look at pop art because it makes me feel like I'm good about myself. Pop art is amazing. It started in the 80s, and the 80s was a very good time. I really liked the 80s. It was fancy. It reminds me of when I was a boy, back in the 80s. I used to live through the Vietnam War. I think that was the 40s, but who cares? Pop art was something very important. It got a message across, it was very colorful, and it sparked a generation of atrocities, which is what we all use today.